What's up, nigga? I am an employee of YouTube. That's right. I work for YouTube. I'm a, I guess a, I guess you can call me a Google employee, right? And that works. It's the same thing, right? Google and YouTube, same thing. I was at Walmart about three days ago. I don't remember which one. I go to a lot. And I seen this hat. Oh, Portland. I was in Portland, Maine three days ago. And I seen this hat. I bought it. It was a dollar. You know those little clearance aisles at Walmart? I always go to those. Because once in a blue moon, it's pretty rare. But once in a blue moon, you will see something good there. And I'll go ahead and buy it. And there was about a hundred of these. Now, I was going to buy all of them and just kind of give them out. But I was like, that's stupid. Who cares? No one wants this hat. So I bought three. Originally, it was $4.44, but they marked it down to a dollar because I guess nobody wants them. Nobody was buying these hats. That's a pretty cool hat. I mean, look at it. It's, it's a cool hat. Covers my head. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's a regular hat. It's a dollar. What's, what's wrong with buying a hat that's a dollar? You know, I'm such a baller, a YouTube baller. I could buy enough hats to cover all the heads of people in Rhode Island. I am a baller. Well, do I? Well, what's the population here? I don't know. Who cares? Bowling. You know how you know you're a baller? Is when you just dress in simple crap. See, a lot of you fucking morons out there, you buy these, you know, dumb hats with sports teams. These hats cost like 20, 30, sometimes 40 and 50 dollars. You got, uh, you're wearing clothes that say people's names on it, like Nike, Adidas, or Reebok. Or whatever, and I'm like, no, I just I buy my clothes from the thrift store. Actually, I bought this from Walmart. This was like 18, 20 bucks or whatever. I bought my sweats from the thrift store. These shoes, well, I bought the shoes new. Uh, my underwear, I had you know, underwear I go top shelf. Uh, but um, yeah, it's like I don't care. I don't I don't need to dress up. I don't need to dress to impress. Uh, any of those out there who have met me, you know how I dress in person. That's how it is, kid. I don't need to floss. I don't need to. You know, say like, oh, look at me. See, a lot of you morons that dress all nice and fancy, you guys are broke. Because all your money goes to stupid clothes. Who the fuck is buying a $200 pair of jeans? I have no idea. It's really, really retarded. By the way, did anybody see the video of Meek Mill? There's a video of Meek Mill. I'm not going to lie. I have never, ever in my life heard one Meek Mill song. Never. I guess he's a good rapper. I have no idea. So there's a video of this guy. He's on a private plane, I'm assuming, with a bunch of his friends. Maybe there's like, I don't know, six or seven of them. And some guy comes out to him and says, uh, yeah, you guys are smoking weed. And of course, Meek Mill already has his phone in his hand. So he starts recording and goes, what are you talking about? He goes, I smell smoke. You can't smoke on the plane. I'm, I smell marijuana. And he goes, how are you going to just tell me that that we smoke, we just got here. Like we don't, we wouldn't even have time to light a blunt. Do you see a blunt anywhere? And I'm just like, dude, this guy is such a fucking loser. This guy is. First of all, I want to know how in the living hell do you have enough money for you and your dumbass friends to be flying on these jets everywhere? Who is paying this guy to do anything? That guy is a lifelong fucking loser lifelong fucking loser i don't care if he's supposedly rich and famous he's still a fuck dude you go on so you mean to tell me this guy's lying right now i can understand maybe the guy is kind of dumb maybe you guys just smoked off the plane and you guys just smell like weed but i mean i don't know i i, I when, when i seen that i'm like i don't care if he really was smoking weed on the plane or not that's just loser shit like, this guy, it constantly gets... Uh, the only reason why I even know his name is because I know he's constantly getting into trouble, gets, constantly getting into stupid shit, constantly just just a knucklehead. Do you ever know those fucking knuckleheads that they just can't stay out of trouble? They're just, you know, they, they stay getting arrested, 30 years old, stay getting arrested? Now, listen, I know shit. I've been arrested a bunch of times. Uh, I haven't been arrested in quite a while, but, you know, shit like that. You know, sometimes you make a mistake, but with that guy, how how are you so rich and successful, and and you and you just stay with the stupid shit? I like to know how the hell he makes enough money to fly all his dumbass friends around the country. But he doesn't have a cool hat like this. This is an awesome hat.
Yeah, because I just don't care. You know what I mean? Like, I don't need to show off. I don't need to buy stupid shit. You know what I mean? It's like, for what, dude? Who gives a fuck? I'm not gonna buy a fuck no diamond, stupid ass jewelry or any fucking. I don't care what I, you know, hey, my van, hey, hey, my van is cool, okay? It's a old ass that I got 200, and how many damn miles? 291,618 miles on this bitch. Now, I will be getting another van. Hopefully, this van lasts me until I get to Texas. But other than that, it serves its purpose. I sleep in it, I drive. That's it. I don't need a floss. You know, I'm a, I, I'm, I'm such a big baller on YouTube. I wear dollar hats because I got to like that. And you don't. I'm sorry. I know. I know it sucks. That sucks. I know you got kids. You know, you wish you had my life. You wish you could do whatever you want. Go wherever you want. But you can. Or you had kids and uh, you fucked up, kid. All right. I got to go. I got to see this little supermarket right here. I want to go in here and get me an XL sandwich. I'll catch up with you later. I love Market Basket. I love my life. I love my life. Peace out.